Hello and welcome to another Photoshop Elements tutorial. In this one we will be covering how to make planets in Photoshop. Now this really isn't a photo editing technique, but rather it shows the diversity of the program and it's just something fun you can do. We're going to use this picture here, which is available for download at the website, link in the description. Before we start anything, we're going to adjust the curves on it. We're going to enhance, adjust color, adjust color curves. We're going to try and get a nice smooth curve downward here. It's going to pull these down. This takes a little bit more finesse than it would in um, any of the full versions of um, Photoshop, but I'm pretty happy with this here. Alright, next what we're going to do is we're going to create a blank file. New blank file. New blank file. I have this by 4000 by 4000. If your computer can't handle this, feel free to turn it down. It doesn't really matter what it is, just as long as it's square. If you want a non-square composition, I'll tell you how to do it later in the video here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag our blank f or our picture into our blank file over here. Now let's line that up right here. Now we're going to stretch it to fill the thing. I have these little bonding or bounding boxes on here, but if you don't have it, you want to go to Image, Transform, Free Transform, and we're just going to pull this out until it fills the blank file right here. Hit enter. Um, now I would normally discourage this, but for this it doesn't really matter. Yep, next we're going to filter, distort, spherize. Now I have everything maxed out right here, and you'll probably want to do so too, otherwise you'll get kind of a dissatisfying sphere. Now typically I apply this twice for planets here. You can just hit um, Control F again here for filter. Now we're going to use the elliptical marquee tool here. We're going to start from the it's far up in the upper right hand corner too, and we're going to hold shift down, and that will get us a nice round circle. Okay. Next we're going to um, invert it, control shift I, and hit delete. That leaves us with just the planet. Control D is deselect. Um, Next, I'm, for this one, I'm going to apply some um, surface blur um, just to get rid of some of this uh, extra texture I don't really care for. I wouldn't recommend this for all of them, but for this one, it works. Just play around with settings until you um, find something you like. I already have played around with this, so these are the settings I want. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to um, create a new layer when this finishes. Create a new layer. Where's my... Ah, no, it's, it's hiding over here. Oops. Sorry. There we go. There's my new layer. What we're going to do is we're going to bring up the um, selection again. Invert that one. So now what we're left with is the um, a selection of the planet. We're going to bring up our gradient tool. We're going to select our um, fade gradient here. Make sure it's circular, reverse. Just going to pick somewhere in the upper right hand corner and just draw it out. Um, not really totally in love with this one, so I'm going to try it again here. Just get until something something we like here. You can play around with that too if you need. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to um, deselect. Bring up the background color. Just dye that black, or color it black. Now, as you notice, we'll have some sort of um, kind of goofy edges here. What we're going to do is we're going to bring up this layer, bring back our marquee tool, and pull it in a little bit. Don't go as quite as far to the edge before. What we're going to do is we're just going to crop that stuff out. C Control Shift I, invert, delete. There we go. Uh, deselect. There we go. We get a nice, smaller, th cleaner edge here. Um, Next, we're going to add some stars here. Um, no space scene would quite be complete without stars. I'm using the, um, where is it, the 55 pixel star here um, with these settings here. Uh, fade 87, hue jitter 0, uh, scatter 51%, spacing 83%, and opacity of 100% over here. And then we just paint in some white. Make sure we're selected on the background layer. 
and just kind of paint them in here. You know, paint them into your content. Um, this can take some time here. Although definitely using the star thing will definitely save you some time as opposed to having to paint these in all individually. Okay. For the sake of this tutorial, that's good enough right here. Um, next what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new layer and we're going to add some color to these um, stars right here. Open a gradient. We're just going to pick any one of the default ones here. I'm partial to this one right here. Just going to color it in. Now what we want to do is we want to select um, soft light and then we're going to turn down the opacity slightly. Just something to give it a little bit of color. There we go. So you can have, have some color there. And then for one final step here, we're going to create um, like atmospheric glow for the planet. We're going to go to the gradient tool. We're going to go back and we're going to select the one that fades out here. And then we're going to pick a color. For this one, I'm going to go with red. And we're just going to... Oh, I almost forgot to stop here. We want to make sure it's not reversed. And then just pull it out some. There we go. And that's your easy planet tutorial.